Chapter 3, A Northern Star. Well, with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm. But despite this being Firestorm, it's gonna feel a lot more like a Let's Play of Inazuma 11 2 Blizzard because his name is Sean Frost, the Star Striker hiding in Hokkaido, which we're going up north specifically to find. He scored 10 goals in one game and they call him the Blizzard Wizard. <laughs> bigger than a bear? So yes, this is Chapter 3, A Northern Star, and they say that he's as big as a bear, 10 foot tall. Must just be rumours though. And also that Alpine Junior High, despite having such a great striker, has never competed in the football frontier before. And they've got this one photograph, but it's so blurry, you can't make it out because he's doing his eternal Blizzard special move. Oh, Mimi, the photographer was just really, really rubbish. Photographer, not photographer. <laughs> anyway, so we haven't actually set off yet. <laughs> Looks like everyone's completely forgotten about Axel already. So, you know, we need to actually get a move on and have a look at this place because the mood is changing. Mark and Jude seem to trust in Coach Lena's ability as a leader. But... Some of the team aren't so happy with her decisions. Even if this Sean Frost is as great as the rumors suggest, how can the team give it their all with this mood hanging over them? What's with the long faces, ladies? Uh, oh, Mr. Veteran. I just heard on the radio that Jim and I are still going around blowing up schools. On times like these, the team needs to get you to rally them around and give them courage. You need to fire them up ready to face alias. Preferably with the old fired up music, not the new one. <laughs> oh well, suit yourselves. The bus is ready to go, so just let me know when you're ready to head out for Hokkaido. Well, how about right now then? No, we, we've got to set the objective. Talk to Mr. Veteran when you're ready to leave. That'll stay on screen for three, two, one, gone forever. Let's go. And yeah, yeah, they've even set another one in its place. Just to say, pick not Nara, not Tokyo, the cold looking one. And then we'll never see that task again either. It's a long drive going up to the very north of Japan. It's already hit night time in a day's worth of travel, but just like Nara was pretty, I think you're gonna like this place too. Look lively, you lot. We've arrived in Hokkaido. Woohoo! Last one off is a rotten egg! Oi, wait for me! Flipping heck! Well, Jude's definitely not going to be a... Yeah, yeah, D didn't you hear it at all, Sylvia, Nelly? Do you want to be a rotten egg? The Prime Minister's daughter, she's not very ladylike. That's because she's kind of a child. Give us some credit, but... What are you girls doing? Get a move on! Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> and it looks like Nelly's going to be the rotten egg. Well, that suits her completely. But have a look at this place. Oh, there's snow everywhere. It looks like eternal Christmas. There's even a dog's kennel right next to us with a dog to boot. I've never seen so much snow. It is rather lovely. Does it have to be so cold? I, I have to go to the loo. You youngins have so much energy. I need a nap after all that driving. Okay, listen up. Alpine Junior High lies beyond a large snowfield. Yeah, yeah, this is just taking, saying how to get there. We need to rest up because it's still quite a long way. But Celia is going to offer Mr. Veteran a back rub, so all is well in the world. 
Uh, oh, oh, thanks, young lady. There was just what the doctor ordered. Oh, a rest! My favorite pastime! Apart from eating and going to the toilet. But yeah, remember what Nelly says is true. We're not here to have fun. We're here because aliens are trashing up schools and it's our responsibility to clear it up for some reason. Now, so here we are in snowy street of Hokkaido. Need to change the camera so I can actually find the entrance to the shop. Talking to Mr. Veteran doesn't do anything. There's nothing of particular importance to do here in Snowy Street, but I'm still gonna have a wander around, flick through the dialogue, because I do want to give you a general feel for the dialogue. Not because any one line in particular is really funny, but just because something you'll come to notice if I can get out! Throughout Inazuma 11 too is that each area that you go to has a different accent and it really helps with the world beating, world building. This could potentially be my favourite Inazuma 11 simply because I love the feeling, I guess I'll keep going because new players in a new place, I love the feeling of world building that this brings because even though you're within just Japan the entire time. It, every area has a different feel, like there's the Cherry Blossoms, Nara, the very cold Hokkaido, and each one has a different accent as well. Nara didn't really have one, but you'll notice Hokkaido kind of sounds a bit Scottish-ish. There's one particular shop where it's especially apparent, so I'll try to get to that in a little while. But yeah, that, that's what especially helps me with liking this game. Oh, and also, uh, this guy is talking about the most amazing footballer in the world. I may as well say in advance, there's someone in every area of the game that talks about this legendary footballer, and it's a good idea to chat with all of them, but generally I'd just recommend talking to everyone in the game, because it's just fun. Ooh, crikey, it's freezing! Let's go and have a nice hot drink in the cafe. That was not the accent I was expecting to pull for this place. But you know, not only does every place have a different accent, but all the accents are those of the United Kingdom. It just It's like the, the appeal of Xenoblade Chronicles. You can just really tell that the game was dubbed in Europe, and it helps a lot. Meanwhile, so there's a cat there, right? But they made this one-off sprite of a lying cat just so you can't get past it. And there's even a ladder and a door in the background. But as far as I'm aware, there is no way to get to that cat and it's extremely annoying. Oh, Pan. Hey, isn't that the coach? No, it's actually just some random woman. But she's on the phone, so you know, best to leave her alone. Manners and all. There's one more screen of Snowy Street for us to have a look at. I don't like all this sneaking around. Do you really still trust her after she went and kicked Axel off the team? <clears throat> well, um, that was definitely a terrible thing to do, but... Uh, well, do you or don't you? Uh, Knock it off. No matter what we say, it won't bring Axel back. You're happy with that, are you, Jude? I'm not happy about it, but we just have to get on with it. Stop it, you two! Yeah, again, I wasn't kidding when I said Eternal Christmas. There is literally a Christmas tree on the right of the screen. Just because it's winter, that means they celebrate Christmas all year round. The aliens are on their way to Hokkaido. Aliens? Yes, this intel comes direct from the Secret Service, so it's reliable. You and the team are still on your way to Alpine Junior High, aren't you? Y yes, apparently the next thing we need to do is cross a large snowfield called the Northern Ridge. 
Northern Ridge. Hmm. That name sounds strangely familiar. Something happened there a long time ago. No, it's no good. I can't remember. I've got Alzheimer's disease because I'm old. Poor Detective Smith. He couldn't even have a unique name either. But alias are headed for Hokkaido. That's kinda bad. But we're in no hurry, am I right? Let's keep looking around this scenic place. There's a stamina bar. Let's pop in to the G-Mart. Now, even though I'm saying there's a lot of UK themes in this game, they're not afraid to show off Russian foods as well. This is basically an entire shop just based around selling Russian soup. Of course, it does also serve as a normal shop as well, but... As I've said in the past, shops are pointless in Inazuma. Aye, well, it's best if you don't know. Just don't go near the place, alright? The avalanches up there are deadly. I know that wasn't a very feminine voice for her, but it's the best Scottish I could pull on the spot. You've, I'm sure you've already figured out through this Let's Play, I'm not the best at voicing women. Too bad no one really appreciates the Christmas. But yeah, this is the one other part of the Snowy Street. The Snowy Street West. And this joke, I must show off. It's cliche, but I still find it funny anyway. How long is he going to keep me waiting? In front of the tree, we said. He'll not thank himself if he stands me up. Grrr. My girlfriend arranged to meet me in front of the tree here, but she's still not come. I'll be gutted if she dumps me. Such an easy joke to make, but I love it so much. But unfortunately, that's all we've got to do in Snowy Street. We've got to get back on the road. But that's, not, that's still okay, because we're going to get to see a different part of Hokkaido now. I see. So Alias Academy are on their way to yeah, yeah, you know, moment is bad. Oh, they are gay there in a jiffy, but it's not quite that simple. To get to Alpine, you need to head through the snow drifts of Northern Ridge. I don't know if the bus will be able to make her through all that deep snow. Just do your best and take us as far as you can. Because that's what you're hired to do, driver. I hope we don't have to face Alias again. Roll the credits! We'll never face them again! Now we're going to meet the Blizzard Wizard. Right! With him on the team, we might be able to hold our own against Alias. Even though we've kind of not got Axel anymore. At least Kevin sees sense. We're in a bit of a rough spot. There was even a boat in the river, I just noticed. It's like a frozen Venice. What a nice place. Celia goes to Jude for a hug because remember their brother and sister. In case you didn't watch the original in Azuma, they are like their biological brother and sister, but their parents died and they got adopted by different families and got different surnames and went to different schools, but they were reunited through the football frontier. Also, Coach Lena doesn't have any brothers and sisters is what I can gather from that sentence getting cut off. What's going on, Mr. Veteran? Well, it's exactly what I told you was going to happen. I can't drive you any further. What are we going to do now? The snow is too much. The bus is going nowhere. We'll have to buy a new one with more broken equipment. You can't be serious, Coach. Walking in this weather will freeze to death. I'm not going! I'm far too succulent and juicy! No, like, mate, steak is my second favourite food, but I do not eat the fat. That is just the worst part. It tastes like brain. Because that's something I've eaten in my time, I'll have you know. They're faint, but you can just about make them out. Footprints in the snow! No, they're actually just the bus's tyre tracks, probably. No, th that's the best way to navigate a new area, not follow the signs or open a sat-nav, just follow some footsteps. I hope the bears don't get them. And we can now go to the Northern Ridge because we are here right now. 
Let's get some more exploration done. Now you thought the city looked snowy and cold. Welcome to White the Land. <laughs> this is a huge area. Very much reminds me of Route 217 from Sinnoh, except much better. Well, I mean, it makes sense that I'd be reminded of that huge snowy route in Sinnoh, because even though the regions of Pokemon nowadays, they're based off places all around the world, like Hawaii and France, it used to be they were all based off places in Japan, Kanto and Johto, Hyoen, and of course, the one that's relevant, Sinnoh. Sinnoh is based on Hokkaido. So basically, we're going to explore the entirety of Sinnoh within this one game. But I was particularly referencing Route 217 because there's lots and lots of different items strewn across this land and it takes a good explore to find them all. And meanwhile, we've found a friendly against Brainwashing Junior High. As usual, there's no real point in me showing this in full, but any highlights that there are will be shown. I'm going to beat them now to put them on the connection route map. We are kind of walked to Brainwashing Junior High itself, so it's a nice break from the cold. But they're not being brainwashed this time, so we can have a fair match, or at least... I will, you won't. Oh, that, that's actually a point I should bring up. Yeah, the Inazuma Break in Jude's moveset, that move has to be used by Jude, Mark, and Axel. So now that Axel is gone, we can't use it anymore. Twin Boost is only slightly weaker, so it's not too much of a problem, but yeah, all my efforts to level up the move has failed. We can't use it anymore. First goal from the, the stockbroker, hooray! Yeah, that's Tori's defensive move. She is a defender, so she's got to have a move, and that's the tower. A move which is exclusive to female players, interestingly, but of course it is mainly made for this player. So now we can go to the maid cafe in the shopping area as a result of beating brainwashing. This is why you absolutely must play these friendly matches whenever you see them because they unlock new areas. We would not be able to go to the shopping area in Ryman if we did not do that match. There's someone there! Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hello! He looks about our age, right? Excuse me, do you live around here? <laughs> I'm afraid we're a bit lost. Do you think you could help us? <laughs> Mark, what if he's lost as well? You're right, he looks freezing. we got to get him back to the bus. Yeah, have some nice hot cocoa. Are you starting to thaw out? Hey, I'm all right now. What, what were you doing out there, all alone in the snow? What on earth were you thinking? That place is special to me. Special? It's just a field full of snow. What's special about that? Where were you headed anyway, laddie? Where was I headed? Hmm... I was just walking in a straight line. You know, like a perfectly weighted pinpoint pass, splitting the opposition's defence. Now you're talking, I eat, drink and breathe football! You must do as well. Yeah, it's alright, it's football. <laughs> That's more down to earth. It's alright. Of course I do. I know this place like the back of me hand. 
If he knows it so well, how did he end up frozen like a giant ice lolly in the middle of nowhere? Right, first off, we got to get back to where you found me. That's the quickest way through. So, question mark, question mark, question mark joined us. So, I think the time is right. Back to the Northern Ridge. It just raises the point. Pokemon 4th generation was my first Pokemon game, right? So Sinnoh was the first region I ever went to. So it really strikes a chord with me that the first p Pokemon region in Japan we visit in this game is also Sinnoh. I mean, you could argue that Ryman is Kanto because it's Tokyo, but even still, you pretty much go to Sinnoh first, and yes, that does mean we'll get to visit other places of Japan that got turned into Pokemon regions later on. But it, it really works out for me that my first Pokemon region also ends up being the first Inazuma one, apart from Nara, obviously. The fourth gen is by no means my favourite Pokemon game. That that my least favourite would be Gen 1, I suppose, with the favourites being the original versions of Gen 3. Hey, I can see a building over there! We made it! Don't run. Not thank yourselves if you wake the old man of the mountain. The old man of the mountain? <sighs> <laughs> Oh, that was terrifying. It's a, a bear! What did I tell you? We're for it now. <laughs> oh, his dialogue! The dialect is the best. We're for it now. It's getting closer! I know! Just close your eyes and pretend you're dead! I don't know, but pretending you're dead will probably make it more likely to eat you. That's just what I think. I'm still alive! The bear ran away! You'll be alright now. Right, I'm off. Thanks for the cocoa. Ta-ra!